a pro Apex player has been banned by EA from tournaments. What's up guys, it's Mike back with another video here and today we are going to be discussing his Watson again, the pro player for Furia and his ban by EA and why that could have happened. Last night, his Watson sent the following tweet. He says that EA has begun blacklisting him from tournaments and all because he's angry at a guy that can stop him from doing his job. Hal then clarified below that tweet that it was not an ALGS tournament that he was banned from. So instead, we think that he was banned from from the TwitchCon Twitch Rivals event that's coming up. And just for a little bit of context, when Watson says, stop me from doing my job, he's referring to an issue he's been having where someone has gotten his account information and every single time he tries to stream or gets on Apex, they just can knock him off offline right away. So then we can pose the question, why did this blacklist happen? We've seen other blacklists from players like specifically Daltouche is blacklist by EA currently, maybe not currently, but he has been in the past. So this isn't something we haven't seen before, but this feels like a new situation. It appears like his Watson is unfortunately dealing with the consequences of his actions. All signs are pointing to this ban and blacklist being about two things. Number one is his public hatred of respawn employee hideouts. Hideouts is responsible for the in-game banning and a lot of the anti-cheat at respawn. He's also a public-facing employee, so he gets a lot of hate as is. His Watson has really piled on recently and has very, very publicly called into question his skill and work ethic number of times. And then number two, it appears just based on timing that it has a lot to do with this leaked conversation with a known hacker. In these screenshots, his Watson is talking to the most notorious hacker in all of Apex, Autism Gaming 420. And it appears at the basis of what his Watson is saying in these DMs, it appears he's trying to get his solution fixed, but he also comes at it from an angle of, hey, let's get some dirt on hideouts, and that is not okay. And Watson knows he looks terrible in these in these DMs. Most times DMs get leaked, somebody's gonna look awful anyways. But he does admit to being very angry when he wrote this, although that's never grounds for dismissal of, of any sort of responsibility. But he was very angry, obviously, and that's, that's of course, a given. The problem is, these leaked DMs, in my opinion, are grounds alone to blacklist him from tournaments. Not only are you attempting to conspire with somebody who's cost the company millions of dollars, you're doing so to try and get dirt on one of their employees. That's just, cra that's just, that's just crazy talk. They're going to protect their assets, number one. They're going to protect their investments. And then they're also, they have an obligation to protect their people as well when <laughs> their people feel like they're being harassed. I'm not even sure what kind of dirt Watson could have gotten on hideouts that isn't borderline illegal. Coming from a business background where you have to ban people all the time, this is completely justified on, on EAs and response. I hate agreeing with them, but they are completely justified in banning him from four fun events. Twitch Rivals at TwitchCon uh, San Diego is a four fun event. It's, you know, you can even see it as a privilege to take place. And it's a showcase of the community. And Respawn has opted to not showcase his Watson as a member of the community because he's not, to them, a very good role model right now. And the reason why I think he's only been banned from these type of TwitchCon events, and, and I imagine he'll probably in the future be banned from other similar events and not ALGS, is because with the ALGS, you can earn your spot and and really he already has. It would take something very, very serious in my opinion to remove him from that type of situation, but for fun, privileged type events, 100%, they're absolutely within their right to choose the people they want to showcase. Respawn and EA are not in the wrong here for the same reason you weren't in the wrong when you didn't let Lil Ricky play with you at recess. Lil Ricky is a dickhead. Furia has the resources to properly train their employees on media sensitivity and how to use media properly, and I think they should. They should train everybody in their organization, not just his Watson. Because I completely understand where his Watson is coming from. He's having a disastrous problem that's been not only impactful to his wallet, but his career. But you got to grow up here. That's completely the wrong way to approach it. Publicly attacking somebody who's just trying to do their job, who's just trying to support their family, who's trying to just work nine to five and have a life. Are you kidding me? Like, this is the real world here. People work nine to five. I do not think about work as soon as I get off, right? Do you expect hideouts to do the same? Like, that's, that's, that's completely garbage in my opinion. Coming from somebody who still works nine to five, that's a completely garbage mindset. And his Watson needs to grow up and I think he really needs to think about his actions. I really love watching him as a player. He's so talented, but come on now, please. I could probably continue talking for another 15 minutes about this, but here's where I'll wrap up the video. I hope that his Watson, you know, has a, a little bit of a course correction here. I think he can, but guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be back again soon.